Hello everyone. Welcome to our educational channel, Heredity Bio Academy. Today I will demonstrate you agarose gel electrophoresis, a fundamental technique in molecular biology. Whether you are a student or a researcher or curious about genetics, this video will guide you step by step. Understanding agarose gel electrophoresis is essential for DNA analysis, DNA sequencing and many more. Let's together explore the science behind agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis is nothing but the separation of biomolecules under the influence of electric field. Biomolecules such as DNA and RNA are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. We are using this horizontal electrophoresis for DNA and RNA and we are using vertical electrophoresis for protein analysis. Now I will introduce you the electrophoresis unit. It consists of a buffer tank, a gel tray, and the comb. The comb is used to create well inside the gel and it also consists of a power pack. Electrophoresis unit consists of two electrodes. The first one is the cathode and the anode. So DNA and RNA are negatively charged molecules due to the presence of phosphate group. So they move from the negatively charged cathode to the positively charged anode. This is how the separation happens when the electrodes are connected to the power pack. Agarose gel is the foundation of agarose gel electrophoresis. Then agarose gel is consists of agarose powder, a natural polysaccharide derived from seaweed. The agarose powder is mi mixed with a buffer solution that is a TAE buffer or TBE buffer. TAE that is trees, acetate and EDTA. TBE is trees, borate and EDTA. This buffer provides a necessary ion for electric conductivity and maintain the stable pH environment during electrophoresis. Now I will show you how to prepare 1% of agarose gel. For that we need 100 ml of 1 cross TAE. I have prepared that on cross TA from that 50 cross of TA. For 1% of agarose gel, we will take 1 gram of agarose powder and we will add it in the 100 ml of 1 cross TA. Now we will put this mixture in the microwave to heat it. After that it will be completely transparent. Now you can see this mixture is completely transparent. After heating the mixture we have wait for 5 minutes. To cool down the temperature below 60 degree, when you can toss this mixture, at that time we will add ETBR. ETBR is an intercalating dye which is bind to the hydrogen bond of the double stranded DNA. So it is easy to visualize the DNA in the UV lights. Now we will add 0 0.5 microgram per ml of ETBR in this mixture. I have mixed it. We will do the pouring of the gel. For that, we will set the gel tray. I have poured the agarose gel in the tray. We have to make it bubble free. If any bubble comes, then use the tips to remove that bubble. 
these combs create a well or pocket in the gel as it cools or solidifies the wells are essential for the for the loading of the dna samples or any samples you have we have to wait till the gel gets solidified after the gel become completely solidify now we will remove this gel tray we will put this gel tray to the buffer tank we can remove this comb right now or else we can remove it after adding the one cross ta buffer to the tank we'll add one cross of ta to the tank now i will remove this comb after that we will go for the preparing of samples with loading dye before loading the samples into the agarose gel it is essential to prepare them appropriately Start is starting by mixing the samples with the loading dye solution. Here I am using the six cross bromophenol blue dye. The loading dye serves multiple purpose. It adds color and density to the samples, making it visible as it migrate through the gel. It helps to track the progress of electrophoresis run. The loading dye contains a denser component that is glycerol or sucrose that allows the DNA sample to shrink into the wells during loading. Here I am using six cross of bromophenol blue dye. So I am taking one one microliter of bromophenol blue dye, and I'll mix it with five microliter of sample. Before loading the samples, I'm loading the DNA marker, is also known as DNA ladder. It's loaded into the fast well of the gel. The fragments in the marker are of a known length. so can be used to help approximate size of the fragments in the sample the prepared dna samples are then pipetted into the remaining wells of the gel after the addition of the samples Now I will connect the buffer tank to the electrophoresis power pack. Electrophoresis is conducted at voltages around seventy to hundred volts. Specific voltage setting and drawn duration depend on the size of the DNA fragments you are analyzing and the type of agarose gel used. The duration is typically ranges from 30 to 60 minutes. Here you can see the bubbles are coming that means our electrophoresis has been started. Thank you for watching Hedi Dubai Academy YouTube channel. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Thank you.